Okay, let's draw the hill. Okay, so 13. Okay, so here it is. It's it's at, at an elevation, it's some speed, right? So here it's moving at some speed. Uh, at an elevation of 4.62 meters. Okay, but then it coasts to a halt at a speed. Uh, there, <laughs> it coasts to a halt at a speed of 14.2 meters, right? The velocity is zero, right? <clears throat> so how fast is it going here? Again, this you could solve this as a actually you could solve it as a one to one by subtracting these two heights. I'm going to solve it as a two to one here. Okay, so here it's got uh, uh, mgh plus one half mv squared, and here it's got just mgh. Okay. Obviously, if you subtracted the h's, you could make this be uh, 1 of mv squared is mgh, but let's go with this. Okay. Um, uh, the masses cancel from this, which is nice because the mass is big. Uh, let's just solve it. So 9.81 times 4.62 plus 1 half v squared equals... 9.81 times 14.2. Okay, so I'm going to start on this side here. I'm going to go 9.81 times 14.2, and then I'm going to subtract this guy. So minus 9.81 times 4.62, and now I've got what 1 half v squared is. So 1 half v squared is something like 93.9798. So now I'm going to multiply by 2, so times 2. And now I'm going to square root raised to the 0.5. Okay. I'm getting that the velocity is 13.71 roughly. At that spot right there. Ta-da. Okay, now if you wanted to do it as a one-to-one, -one, you would just say, uh, instead of this being height equals zero, as I implied you should do, right? I would just say, okay, now let's see, this height here is uh, what 14.2 minus 4.62, what is that? Minus 4.62. 9.58, so this height here is 9.58, and I would just say 1 half mv squared is mgh, where h is 9.58. Okay, so that's another way to do it. Anytime you have, I call these roller coaster problems, right? Uh, anytime you've got something like that, you feel free to do that. You won't be violating any fundamental law of the universe.